Morning, everyone. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And so now we are going to be talking about why you are failing selling t-shirts. And that is the question that I'm imposing to you right now. If you are someone who has been selling a bunch of t-shirts or, or hasn't been selling a bunch of t-shirts online and have been, has been trying for years or months trying to sell their t-shirts, whether it's on Shopify, whether it's on Etsy or eBay and so on and so forth, you may be failing and it might be your fault. There are a lot of reasons why you could be failing when you're trying to sell your t-shirts online. Number one, the number one reason why you could be failing is just because your designs are not what people want. They do not want your designs. Um, the second reason why you could be failing is just because your price points, your, your, you know, your, your prices are way too high. You could be trying to sell a shirt that only goes for $20 or 40 and so on and so forth possibly the quality number three the quality of your shirts could be crappy someone doesn't want a you know a crappy gildan possibly a crappy shirt that you know sells for you know regular price 15 20 bucks and they don't want to buy it for 40. um that could be another reason why and I think really the, the major reason why too also is because not a lot of people are seeing your shirts. There's not enough traffic possibly. And there's a bunch of ways to fix that. The number one reason, the number one uh, way you fix that is just by having better SEO, better search engine optimization to get people to look at your shirts, look at your um, website. And by doing that, you can... Um, you know, by, by creating better SEO, you can do that by uh, having a bunch of blogs on your website. So people can, you know, there's a lot of, tra there can be a lot of traffic to your website and a lot more people can discover you that way. You know, I think the best way to sell a t-shirt is by having the best graphic designs, the best designs and the best niche markets. You know, by exploiting the best niche markets, I should say, that is probably the best way that you can, um, you know, make a bunch of money by by um, selling t-shirts. Because let's just say you are trying to appeal to the skateboard crowd. Let's just say you're trying to appeal to a crowd that likes sports or something. Then these are great niche markets to try to appeal to because there's a very broad... Um, you know, very broad audience that wants these shirts. The bigger the audience, uh, the more of a chance you have of selling, you know, your particular t-shirt. Something else that could be standing in your way too is that the t-shirts are just not trending. Not a lot of people want a t-shirt that's kind of, you know, old or some, there's an older reference, like a Charlie Sheen reference. Nobody wants a Charlie Sheen shirt anymore, ladies and gentlemen. They want something that is brand new, possibly a brand new politician that a lot of people are excited about. A lot of people would probably want to buy a, a shirt that has a, a great politician, possibly. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to think of some other ones, too, like a great like sporting event that just happened, possibly. You want to definitely capitalize on that. Um you know, with soccer, with uh, with football, baseball, and so on and so forth. And I think a, a big factor, too, in of why you're failing when you're trying to sell t-shirts, is that you're trying to sell things that nobody really wants. Like I was saying before, if you're selling a t-shirt, and, and I'm using this in the sense of a t-shirt that you have that's a uh, bad color, or a bad graphic design. Again, these are kind of your top reasons why you're not selling the t-shirt. The, the price points are just way too high. And I think really you need to get your price points down. That's something else that I think you really need to focus on. If Printful isn't working or if Printify isn't working or something, then possibly invest in a Cut printer 
Maybe get yourself a graphic designer if your graphic designs are not doing very well. There's a lot of things you could do. Something else I would highly recommend too is possibly getting a screen printer, like a you know a, a screen print press. You know, try to invent, and it's not that much to invest in. Um, using it from a perspective of someone who understands the market, you know, that's coming from my perspective. I understand the market, so if I was going to invest in a screen print right now or a screen printer, it's uh. Sorry if I'm using that terminology incorrectly, but I think my grammar might be off on that. <laughs> screen printer, screen print, press, you get the point. Um, I'm using it from the perspective of someone who understands what, what I'm doing, so I would have no problem investing in that right now. Now, I'm not giving any financial advice, let me be very clear. I'm just coming at from I'm just coming at it from my own perspective and what I personally would do. But if you are really losing money and you really don't understand the t-shirt market at all and you've been trying at this for quite a few months or quite a few years i would possibly look into other alternatives into making money at this point i'm not going to lie to you it may not be the best option for you t-shirt you know the t-shirt business is a very saturated market it's a very over saturated market and if you understand how to you know if you understand how to sell you know I don't know, blue light glasses or scissors or something, and you understand that there's a there's a market for, you know, certain things coming from the glasses industry or coming from the cell phone industry or something, like selling cell phone cases. You might be better off doing that instead of trying to sell T-shirts. If this is like a lifelong dream for you and you really do want to try to sell some T-shirts or you have a, a business that you can promote your items from. Let's just say you have a great YouTube channel or let's just say you have a great social media following or something, then I would definitely encourage you to possibly continue but be very careful in terms of you spending a bunch of money because I don't want anyone to fail out there. I don't want anyone to try to you know spend money that they just don't have. I would never encourage that ever. I would look into um, places like Printful where you really don't have to invest a single dime until the item sells. So if you're really having a problem trying to sell your particular shirts, Printful might be the best option for you, like a print-on-demand service. Basically what, what happens is, if you don't know, is that Printful, let's just say a, a shirt sells on Etsy, then the shirt sells, goes to the buyer, shipped everything and you don't have to worry about anything other than submitting the graphic design to printful.com and you know making sure everything is right on Etsy itself. What happens is Printful sends the item out, does all the legwork for you, makes the item, has the actual t-shirt in stock and you don't have to do anything. It's completely passive. And you don't have to pay them a dime until the particular item sells to the customer. And that's really something I would personally, personally recommend. There's a link in the description for that, printful.com. But again, you know, this is not financial advice. Nothing on this channel is financial advice. I'm purely saying all this stuff um, just from my perspective and my past experiences selling t-shirts online. There's other ways, too, um, of, of selling T-shirts as well. I'm not ignoring the fact that you could do, um, you know, a heat press. You could do uh, DTG. DTG is direct-to-garment. Now, these things might be a little bit more other than trying, you know, aside from um, selling on, on print-on-demand, like on Amazon, or through Printful, Printify, and so on. But... I'm just saying there's other ways to do it. But if you truly are failing, you know, and you really don't know what you're doing, I would highly recommend just trying to take a step back, repeating this video. I really would because I said some some um, very valuable things in this video. Try to understand some of the things that I'm, I'm talking about. I can definitely go through them in another video as well. If you comment below, I could definitely expand on some things that I'm talking about in this video because I'm just kind of spitballing some some things and some reasons why you could possibly be failing 
but let me know in the comments. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for more. Like this video and uh, share it with some friends, will you? Thank you so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.